So has everyone heard of eye strain at this point? I feel like moms are trying to be aware of screen time, but I'm concerned that they might not be concerned enough with themselves, other adults in the family, and their older children. Eye strain is commonly caused by long-term use of computers, digital devices, and phones, as everyone knows. But it can also be caused by reading or driving long distances. It's an uncomfortable condition, but not a serious one. In fact, eye strain can be managed by limiting activities that cause eye strain and making fairly simple lifestyle changes. So let's get into it. Welcome back to Eye School with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. And give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest eye tips and tricks I have for you. What is eye strain? Eye strain is a common condition caused from intense use of your eyes, such as reading or driving long distances. In recent years, the main common cause is extended use of computers or other digital devices like cell phones or iPads. And this type of eye strain is called digital eye strain. Eye strain can cause discomfort, but is usually not a serious condition. And many steps can be taken to reduce or prevent eye strain. So let's go through some of the symptoms and causes what causes eye strain? Eye strain is caused by intensely focusing your eyes during a task. And these tasks can include driving, reading, computer and cell phone use, or even extended periods of detail work like sewing or writing. Eye strain is basically tired eyes, and it's sometimes called eye fatigue. Doing these chores or tasks in dim light can intensify your eye strain. People with prior eye conditions like uncorrected vision or muscle imbalances are at a greater risk of eye strain as well. And it's also true that stress and fatigue in your life can also contribute to you having more eye strain. Now, digital eye strain has several distinct causes. Researchers have found that when people use computers or other digital screens, they actually blink less. And this leads to dry eyes, which can contribute to eye strain. Digital devices can also cause eye strain because of their glare or when there's poor contrast between the type or the lettering and the background. Also, an improper distance from the screen or poor lighting can also lead to eye strain. So what are some common symptoms of eye strain? Well, you may experience symptoms of eye strain that include watery eyes, eyes that feel dry, you could have blurring of your vision, sensitivity to light. You could even get headaches or a brow ache right across your, your eyebrows. You can feel neck and shoulder pain, difficulty concentrating. You might notice burning eyes or itchy eyes or even just having a hard time keeping your eyes open. So let's talk a little bit about the relationship between digital eye strain and dry eye disease. Too much time with digital devices can cause some problems aside from just general eye fatigue. Digital eye strain often leads to dry eyes and puts an extra burden on the muscles that help the eye focus. Also, the eyes don't blink as frequently when looking at digital devices, which causes faster disruption and evaporation of the film of tears that protects that surface of the eye. That can cause minor eye irritations like burning and stinging. Dry eye disease is characterized by tear film instability that can result in ocular surface damage. Patients with dry eye disease may experience ocular pain or discomfort and visual disturbances that can negatively impact not only your quality of life, but your vision as well. Increased use of digital screens for work, communication, and entertainment, especially during our most recent pandemic, can contribute to dry eye. Extensive cross-sectional studies have shown that digital screen use duration is associated with an increased risk of severe symptoms and clinical diagnosis of dry eye disease in adults. Smartphone use duration has also been found to be greater in school-aged children with dry eye disease than those without dry eye disease. A commonly accepted hypothesis for the relationship between use of digital screens and dry eye is that digital screen use changes your blinking dynamics and it leads to ocular dryness. 
The National Library of Medicine found evidence that digital screen use is associated with dry eye disease, that digital device use alters blinking dynamics, and that dry eye affects mental health and work productivity in digital screen users. Helpful prevention and management strategies for dry eye disease exist for those who use digital screens. So let's talk about how we diagnose eye strain. Eye strain is diagnosed during a visit to your eye care provider's office. During this visit, your healthcare provider will discuss the following topics. What are the symptoms that you experience when these symptoms occur and what tasks you might be doing when they happen? The physician may also do a physical exam to look for muscle imbalances, uncorrected refractive errors like being nearsighted or farsighted, or other issues with the eye itself. Many times, eye strain will disappear on its own. In those cases, you do not need to see your doctor. Eye strain is usually treatable with some simple lifestyle changes and just awareness of the tasks that irritate your eyes. However, if your eye strain is severe or long-term, you should seek medical attention to rule out any more serious conditions. Now let's talk about how to manage and treat your eye strain. Eye strain is usually treated with lifestyle changes. These may include wearing glasses for certain activities like reading. Taking breaks from your reading, writing, and driving can also help reduce eye strain. Other tips to reduce eye strain include using lubricating eye drops. Adjust your lighting based upon your activity. Use a humidifier in your work environment. And if you do smoke, consider quitting. Tips to reduce digital eye strain include following the 20-20-20 rule. This this rule says to take a 20 second break to view something 20 feet away every 20 minutes. Some other tips for eye strain include choosing screens that tilt and swivel, regularly cleaning your screen as smudges can reduce contrast, use a glare filter on your screen, reduce glare on your screen through proper lighting, and even use an adjustable chair. So let's talk about prevention. Can you actually prevent eye strain? In fact, it can be prevented by identifying the cause of the issue and then finding ways to correct it. So it might be taking breaks, increasing the amount of blinking you do, and using those other tips I told you about to protect your eyes from strain. Some more tips and work habits to help prevent eye strain include using artificial tears when your eyes start to begin to feel dry. I also actually tell my patients to use artificial tears proactively instead of reactively. So if you're going to be on the computer and that's when your eyes feel particularly dry, it is a good idea to use your artificial teardrops every two to three hours while on computer. You can also apply a warm wet washcloth to tired eyes. Use a humidifier even when your eyes don't feel dry. Now there are some risk factors for developing eye strain and those can include working in front of a computer or screen for long periods of time, doing tasks that require the eyes to focus for extended periods of time, having dry eyes already, or having muscle problems within the eye. Eye strain can be irritating, but it's rarely more than just a nuisance. With proper eye care and work habits, you should be able to successfully and quickly reduce eye strain. Let me know about your experiences and questions about eye strain and make sure to comment with those below. That is it for today's iSchool lesson. Class is dismissed and I'll see you next time.